Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, welcome to this coming week's reading. For this reading, I am using shells to divine from for this week, so I hope you enjoy. And then I'll be pulling out cards towards the end. This is the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot deck that I have here. Okay. Capricorn, Capricorn, let's begin. <sighs> Capricorn. Capricorn. Mm. Some of you I see you may have had a, a weekend recently that you have overindulged in some things. Um, chocolate, whatever it may be, something. <laughs> um, and and like you're. Uh, just trying to detox away from that or, or like uh, I don't know like um, it's not a bad feeling like you had a good weekend uh, it could even be overindulging in, in staying in bed in watching films and whatever it may be um, it's a it, it's something I see that was positive that you had a good time and you're remembering this and you are feeling very um, more flexible, more flexible with your time, with your schedule, being, you know, you're not wanting to be rigid. And for some reason, this experience in, in this indulgence that you may have had and whatever that was, you realize, oh, um, it's like it's just kind of strange i'm i'm like but it, this is what's coming through <laughs> it's like uh it's expanded your thoughts on a particular thing and you realize you know you're quite balanced and you are strong for many of you you're physically strong as well you know and um and for for the majority of the time you don't indulge or overindulge or whatever you know you don't overindulge in in, in many things so um, you're basically giving yourself a pass. That's what I see. You're not giving yourself a hard time. So good on you. Uh, no need to give yourself a hard time. You're allowed to have, you know, you like, you're allowed to, to, uh, to do whatever you did at times, as long as it's, it's, it's something that's good. Um, or tasty. Um, there is, uh, an energy around you, Capricorn, that has some kind of destructive behavior. Um, some kind of destructive behavior that you are doing a really good job in keeping a healthy distance from this person. You're doing a good job from keeping a healthy distance. You've made a decision to do that. And I see you've put your foot down and you've drawn a line in the sand and you're like to yourself, yeah, I'm not really going to go there. I'm not getting any closer. No, thank you. You know, there's something here that um, you are more and more focused on a project of yours and some, some sort of creative aspect or something that you are doing. And it gets you, when you think about it, you know, it gets your heart pumping stronger and it's like you become um, very hungry for this. Um, and so that makes you more determined to, to get it done. And I also see social networking going out there and networking because a couple of events you could be invited to and it just it says here just say yes go for it do it um you've got what it takes and and you know um also something that's coming through uh nothing is is wrong um in terms of what you are trying to do or doing or, or say or anything like that there's there's no for example there's no wrong um question you know there's no there's no uh or wrong answer in in there's no wrong answer in a particular thing that you are uh trying to get at if that makes sense um and i do see you're put in a very strong position some kind of authoritative position here where you um have your say you, you for some you, you have the upper hand in something um i also see there is some sort of partnership that um uh there's a dis dissolution is what's coming through. Um, something that, you know, on paper, it's, it's finally 
ended but it's 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 good for both sides so there's not even much bitterness there it's like okay now you can live your life freely um i do see a soulmate connection around you and there's still some kind of distance however it is it's getting stronger and it's like waiting for you to be a bit more open uh, to it i do see high strong attraction here and for the soulmate part you know it doesn't necessarily have to be a love it doesn't have to be just always just about um you know lovers um it's like someone also that you can be yourself around uh, be yourself completely around this person um and and someone that you can um have fun with there's also something to do with education education first education first is what i'm seeing something about um education being important or researching studying something you're very very focused on that and adamant um that you will get some qualifications and really kind of set off on your path i really feel it for you capricorn i really do mm, i really do all right let's see okay we have the ace of swords the ace of swords ace of swords the hermit we just like that study oh and the judgment okay the ace of swords the hermit the judgment very strong you have clear vision absolute clarity knowing what is important you know your priorities they're changing something you're going through a deep transformation here something that is very personal to you personal growth the study the research that you are doing learning about yourself about your life about many many things you have a higher purpose a much higher purpose than you have ever realized here capricorn Oh, the four of wands, much higher purpose. Something here that I do see also is there's a resurgence of some um, strong energy, resurgence of a purpose, of a situation that you will get victory from. Four of wands, the seven of pentacles. And we're seeing the strength in the four of wands is, uh, a, a, it is a, a situation, a partnership, or home, you know, something that you are surrounded with, your environment that is strong, a strong foundation, something that you have been building, something that um, gets you very excited. You're in a really good place here and there's reason to celebrate, committed to this new journey. And, you know, uh, it's allowed you to, to plant your seeds very carefully in the right place at the right time. And now it's just about being patient, about seeing that be uh, fulfilled, watching it grow in the best way. You know, and there is like, um, sometimes there's a temptation of getting a little bit uh, impatient, but you then see that you must be practical and becoming um, uh, firm and sure of your choices and you you're watching this grow into something that's very very abundant something that um, you know you're doing it for the right cause and it's shaping up to be something that will benefit you for the for the long long term the high priestess and then we have the high priestess you know as, uh, again underneath the hermit so interesting and this is kind of like about you finding out um we're talking about that education thing or, or, or the study the relationship it's like you're analyzing things very carefully but calmly as well um and you could read the room very very well 
And this is also about you listening to your intuition, like you're being practical, but listening to your intuition as well. You have a great balance with that Capricorn. It's like you see now um, there is more confidence within you. You don't feel like you need to uh, rush something. You know that you're following in the right footsteps also. Like something has been given to you. And whatever kind of um, perhaps sadness that you went through recently, again, there's this much higher purpose, as we were talking about, to things evolving. And it shows that, you know, with all the, the right kind of energies and connections, you are living a very fruitful life and, and this will continue for a long time as well. Um, I get something, we talked about victory and justice, you know. It's like you, you've known all along and things are progressing. Very interesting, exciting journey that you are on, Capricorn. Mm, so good. Thank you. Thank you, Capricorn, for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all your support. I really hope that this was helpful to you. Um, and I would love it if you could let me know. I appreciate every single one of you. Love you all. Do take care. And until next time.